Some of you might be wondering what exactly you just witnessed. Well, what you saw was me sliding down some land. Some might even call it a landslide, but what is a landslide exactly? Well, that's precisely what we're going to cover in this very video. What are the causes and differences between landslides and avalanches? What are the dangers of these earth-altering events? And how to stay safe during one of them? And what are the impacts on the overall environment that these events have? Now, let's start with what this phenomenon is. A landslide is a process when rocks, dirt, or pretty much any other debris begins to collapse and fall, slide down mountaintops, cliffs, hills, you name it. Now, an avalanche is essentially the same thing, but snowier. These events are caused by a multitude of things, such as deforestation, wildfires, excessive rainfall, earthquakes, and probably more that I won't bother mentioning. Moving on to the dangers of landslides, there are indeed a lot. Which is why I'm going to pass this segment on to... The Rat of Knowledge! Huh? <coughs> oh, hey! So, Rat of Knowledge, uh, what can you tell us about the danger of landslides? Listen, bro, I never agreed to doing this segment. <coughs> <laughs> that sucks. Do it. But bro, you don't understand. I'm not very really good on money right now. <coughs> oh, I see, I see. Yes, yes I do. You've been gambling again, haven't you? Uh, 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 I can neither confirm nor deny that. Oh, come on. What did I tell you about your gambling addiction? We don't even have the cash to be attempting gambling right now. We are already so deep into debt that we're living off breadcrumbs here. I've had to take out loan after loan, and now I'm going into debt trying to pay off our debt! Seriously, rat of knowledge, what were you thinking?! Look, bro, I'm sorry, I just... I just had to... <laughs> test my luck! <clears throat> Would you shut up about your luck already?! You clearly don't have any! Oh, come on, man! I said I was sorry, is that not enough for you? <coughs> oh, I'm in so much pain. Look, if you're not out of here by next week, I will throw you out myself. Now do the segment, or I will throw you out today. You know what, alright, alright. I'll do the segment or whatever. So, landslides and avalanches, they're, they're pretty dangerous because of rocks and stuff. And if they fall on things, they break a few buildings or skulls. Either one, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you know what? This is dreadful. And, um,. I want you out of the house by the end of the day, okay? Now, I'm gonna have one of my good associates take over. So, on to you. I wanna die. My name's Carson Turner. This, thanks for having me on in. Now, landslides can severely damage buildings they come in contact with. Second of all, they can, people can get stuck under debris uh, from landslides and, suff and suffocate to death. And, third fact, rocks, Plus gravity, plus people, equals death. That's cool facts with Carson, with Carson. And also, this is Larry. I make him up and like. Oh, oh, oh.
thank you for that incredibly in-depth look on the dangers of landslides. Now, let's look at a timeline of some of the most dangerous landslides and avalanches to really put into perspective the damage these things cause and why we should be aware of them. October in the year 218 BCE saw Hannibal's army endure an avalanche on their journey through the Swiss Alps. Around 18,000 people died, and I'm sure this had no relation whatsoever to the war elephants that he brought with him. I mean, it's, it's really just speculation, isn't it? December 13, 1941 had an avalanche in Juarez, Peru. May 31st, 1970 had another avalanche in Peru in Yungay. This is considered one of the deadliest avalanches ever recorded. November 13th, 1985 had a landslide occur in Armaro, Colombia. And June 20th, 1990 in western Iran had a few landslides that resulted in a total of 40 to 50,000 deaths and injuries. I bet they didn't <laughs> that coming. <laughs> I'm going to fire him. Anyways, let's talk about some ways to stay safe during a landslide or avalanche. When near mountains or cliffs, make sure to listen for any unusual rumbling sounds. Make sure to stay alert when living near mountains or cliffs during heavy rainfall. Simply choose to avoid living at the bottom of a mountain or cliff when choosing a home. And make sure not to sleep in lower floor rooms in houses or buildings at the bottoms of mountains or cliffs during heavy rainfall. Or you can always just succumb to your fate to the dooming amounts of mud and snow. Just wait as the air slowly leaves your lungs, rendering you brain dead. But I would highly recommend trying one of the options I mentioned before, before resulting to that, obviously. 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 Now, to reassure some who maybe can't follow those above options, there is an organization keeping track of things like landslides called the Landslide Disaster Assistance Team, or LDAT for short. They help reduce deaths and injuries during these events, and help to keep people informed about the hazards when they do happen. So, have some comfort in that, I suppose. With all that boring safety stuff out of the way, it is now time to discuss the impact landslides and avalanches have on the world. First off, it should be obvious that these events are capable of causing mass destruction and death and, this is just my personal opinion, aren't good things. It can also lead to environmental damage and increased risk of floods and loss of natural resources, which again, and this is just my opinion, aren't good things. Things. So it is clear as day as to why we should all care about and be aware of these events happening in the world, and the impact that they bring. Especially because they can happen pretty much anywhere, given the right conditions. But I don't want to end this video on a downer, so here are some more of my good associates to show all of you how you can experiment and make your own landslide at home. Whoa! We're here to do an experiment for you guys. See what we have here is water, dirt, and a box. So basically, we have a box full of dirt right below us and we have water and this is going to simulate heavy rainfall that would normally cause a landslide. I'm one in 22 different countries. All right, so now you see the box and uh, I'm gonna pour some of this clear liquid on it. Let's see what happens. It's a landslide. Wow. So cool. That's so cool. Right, partner? Yeah. So cool. He's so cool.